and welcome to Tushka Training. Today we have a tutorial which is the first in our Elements series. Um, these tutorials will be about creating elements for you to use on displays and, and so on anywhere in your visuals. Today we're getting some kind of semblance of an audio waveform going so you can show visuals for audio within your scenes, on displays, on HUDs, whatever. Um, it looks a little bit like this. It's not a bad waveform, uh, and it's quite easy to create as well. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new composite shot. We'll call this uh, waveform background. Uh, we'll leave the, the, the settings as they are for this. They're not that important. It's more about the technique. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to create a, a plane. Uh, make sure the plane color is black. We'll call this waveform background okay now you've got your waveform background what you want to do is start creating the waveform um, and what we're going to use for that is the lightning and electricity so we'll drag that effect down uh, and as you can see it's, it's randomly positioned and rather than try to place this all with the mouse we're just going to open up the settings um, first thing we'll actually do is we'll change the wave scale to zero and the twitch scale to zero this straightens it up as you can see here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go to start and as we know the size of the frame we can center it by hitting zero there um, and because we know the size of the frame is 1080p it's 1980 we can go minus 960 and that will actually stick it to the side of the of the frame so if we do the same here we're going to zero it to center it in the screen and then because we want to go to the other side of the frame this time we're not actually going to use a minus we're going to use a full 960 and now we've got it across the screen as you can see okay we can close those over now um, open up the branches the first thing we want to do is we want to change the degrees here to 90 so we've got the straight up and straight down peaks of our waveform uh, but as you can see there's a little bit of movement left to right here and that's caused by the angle range so we want to change this angle range down to zero and as you can see now we're, we've got completely 90 degree angles from the actual wave line um, the next thing we want to do is we want to put the quantity up to the maximum of 50. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's actually not a bad effect right now. Um, we'll, we'll speed up the animation ever so slightly and we'll boost the scale ever so slightly as well. Um, as you can see, it's not, it's not a particularly bad effect. You could use it as it is right there. Personally, I like to take off the glow to give it more of a, a standardized look like so. It's looking better all the time. And if I change the core to green so it matches the waveform I actually showed you earlier. Okay, so that's that's not bad looking at all. But what we want to do now is we want to bring the peaks over to this side of the waveform, bring them all together so it looks a bit more like a standardized version of a waveform that you're used to seeing in audio software. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to affect the minimum and the maximum position. The minimum position will be... Uh, the position on this center line, the minimum position of these peaks on that center line, and the maximum obviously will then be the maximum position on that center line. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the maximum position down to 0.1. And as you can see, we've, we've now bunched the waveforms. So we'll leave the minimum position at zero on this particular one. Um, the minimum and the maximum scale, the minimum will be the minimum height, and the maximum will be the maximum height. Uh, we'll leave them as they are for now. Uh, next thing for you to do, as you can see, this is uh, animating quite well. Uh, the next thing to do is to duplicate this lightning here. Now, rather than actually pick up this lightning and move it over, that won't work. Because what will happen is, as you move it over, the lightning will start to shrink. What you need to do is go to branches and then just change your minimum and maximum positions to the next step along so uh, the, the first one was 0.1 was the maximum position so we're going to make the, the minimum position on this one 0.1 and the maximum 0.2 now as you can see works perfectly however if you look here at the peaks and the troughs you will see that both of these are now actually copies which you don't tend to get with waveforms that you won't get a copy all the way through the waveform so what you need to do with the second one is change the seed here to one 
now you're getting a completely different seeded animation so now it's completely random it looks a lot more like a waveform that's all you need to do um, so I'll do another one just to show you how easy it is change the seed to two so you've moved the seed along one uh, and then on your branches you will change this to 0.2 and the maximum to 0.3 and then you've moved it along you've got a random waveform and all you have to do is keep doing that until you've filled the screen and you've got a perfect plate to render out and the reason I say a perfect plate to render out because if you look at the waveform I showed you earlier uh, when I played it to you I showed you a, a RAM preview and that's because I actually used 20 lightnings to fill the screen so it's quite a GPU intensive effect it's not something you're going to be doing heavily I put two of these into an animation the other day it took quite a long time to render it so my suggestion is when you if you are going to use this then render it to a plate put the plate as a material on the plane and put it wherever you want in the scene uh, you know, you'll find it a lot easier to work with um, anyway I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, Press subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials uh, and we'll see you soon.